Okay, excellent connection. I'm gonna play some War Star Citizen. I'm gonna do some. Might do a little rock mining, see if that's improved at all. On the second account, first account, I might do some prospector mining. Might do bounty hunting, see how it goes. But I will be playing some more Tomato 2 the rest of his interview from yesterday. And it's gonna be like my Star Citizen radio. Alright, let's go ahead and finish him off. This was Keenan Space, Space Tomato 2 talking to Black Maze about racing and other things about Star Citizen. We're going to start that now or finish it. There's like, oh, looks like 20 minutes-ish left. I'll go back a couple minutes to get a little bit of a, I might have missed. In my opinion, because things were going really bad and I was worried. The thing is, when Otis... Whether you're and I get a commercial. Five-second commercial. ...real-world behavior, neo 4 js new graph algorithms book, C was announced. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going next level. I'm going to buy Verbal Joysticks, dual stick. I'm going to buy a Reverb G2 VR headset, and I'm going to live rock in the mining? universe. Like, I wanted, I wanted to go next level. And then, obviously, it released in Alpha, and then beyond Alpha, it went straight into release, which everybody was very confused about, and there were 100 million problems. And I tried to share constructively my concerns and I genuinely mean it when I was open-minded I I had prior to all of Odyssey I Where had lots of contact legs? with the community to, uh, community managers because we would do events together on their live streams and it was we had a great relationship yeah and um it was service level but there was interaction to make sure that we could come and join them and do fun stuff on stream but then when well, shit hit the fan, I started being a little more critical and saying like, dudes, you're ruining the game here, I'm, I'm really worried, and I would share feedback, I would make bug reports and kind of get every, kind of opens people, you know, open people's eyes in terms of, guys, be careful, look what they're doing, the planets look bad, uh, the atmospheres look different, the handling of the vehicles have changed, everything's going bad. It was always radio silence, and it was always very hush-hush and limited information and that's the the big contrast with cig again uh, um, i was even banned from their forums because i was too vocal i've i've heard a little bit about uh that period of time i've t i've spoken to other people who are doing the same as you um in fact we had we had one on our podcast this computer is a little bit slow this is a shadow uh, gaming it's, it's a little bit it's honestly it's a bummer to hear my main and PC. it's something that i definitely I've realized very recently, like in the last couple of weeks, I was talking to a couple of the other creators here that, that covers uh, Star Citizen regularly, that we do need to be the ones who are ready to start to say that kind of stuff about Star Citizen if that stuff does happen. And I really do think that they are going to be willing to meet us on, on, a, you know, on those points, not shut us out, not shut us down. And I expect that from them because that's what they've shown in the past. It's you just, know, I've got... I've got proof of that even, which is amazing, and I, I definitely don't want to, you know, sit on the high horse because this is not like it's not because of me. But I did a video I have on any... um, the ship handling and, and what I think is wrong VTOL? with it and the things. No, so this was before VTOL. Okay. Uh, this was before the VTOL video. What is that? This was um, uh, water at 100%. me raising a concern in terms of. Since, because I started playing in version 3.13, okay, let's get and this then, character uh, out. Not short after that, we had the, the release of 3.14, which did a lot to change the thruster strengths of the ships. Some became stronger, some became I weaker. And something that stood out to me YouTube. immediately was how incredibly sure strong the, the strafe good. up had become. So they obviously did this in mind having combat they wanted to try and keep people tighter together um, and i am purposely staying away from pt 316 I, well, I want there to be a little bit of are. surprise and, I, and it's not a huge update so i'm gonna just do some mining and actually ooh, maybe i shouldn't do any yeah maybe i shouldn't do any rock mine or What's that thing called? <laughs> I can't think. Maybe I shouldn't do... Oh my god, prospector mining, because I have to wait on a refining order. 
I'll take a chance. I mean, oof. They haven't done. They haven't done one update while it's been open PTU. Let me. Where did I pad to? Man, I am so bad about that. Pad to. Oh, look at that! Boom! Elevator. Love it when it's quick. Go back to the main. What am I gonna do? Uh, I may get something for the arrow. I play around with the arrow. The prospector stocked up. No weapons on my prospector. We got two surges and at least one charge of optimum, which is pretty much all I need for the quantanium rock. Mostly stealthed out, all stealthed out. This one's a B. C, oh, C stealth. And this one's a D. Back to the other account. Run shadow. I think I may go down to. Might fly over to. Damar to rock mine. I don't mind Ariel, but when I'm playing two accounts, I kind of forget where I am. I don't feel like putting on the big bulky Pembroke suit. And on this PC on Shadow, I really can't see. Welcome. Your journey begins fuel. now. I really can't see the horizon very well. So bright orange. This orange canopy or this orange deck. Gotta fuel up before I even go over there. Hydrogen fuel, one hundred percent. Oh, I gotta make a couple of extra jumps to get over there, don't I? Ooh, do I want to do that? Really, three? Ah, oh, it's because it's the. You have the. Wow, can I look at the hurl three? So, because it won't even go there. That's bunk. Ah, uh, you might have to go all the way to hurl four to get to hurl three because for some reason I can't make that jump. Blocked. I don't. How much further can you not make it by? Ooh. Like almost 200. Yeah, you're not going to make it to hurl three. You may not. Maybe, okay, Ariel it is. I guess I'm going to Ariel. Jeez. That little drift drive is. Landing gear retracted. Oh. playing an error curve playback ID what the heck is going on am I still live I'm live but I can't play that back I'm at 50 minutes 11 seconds and they're joust that's, that's always weird mentioned. that's mm -hmm. and, and they're not gonna I, give me another commercial this and I, I said I've I've heard a little, a little bit, bit about uh that period of time first in one second that's Over bogus. the course of my career, I've created almost a hundred tricks, but many of those were battles that took hundreds of tries. Hey. And other people who are doing the same as you. Um, in fact, we had we had one on our podcast who spoke a lot. At I don't lock it. I go spin it out of control. Uh, these things that it's it's honestly it's a bummer. Okay, to I'm gonna hit, I gotta. And go it's down. something that I definitely I've realized very recently, like in the last couple of weeks. Get, pick up my rock, I was talking actually. to a couple of the other creators here that that covers uh, Star Citizen. I guess I'm going to go try to get that. A we do need to be the ones who are ready to start to say that kind of stuff about Star Citizen if that stuff does happen. And I really do think that. If I don't get my refine order out, I don't get it out. I'm not going to sweat it. A, you know, on those points. Not shut us out, not shut us down. And I expect that. Hopefully, I get some kind of warning. I can go get the order early it's if just, I have I'm to. Not, 
I, I've got proof of that even, which is amazing. It's Tuesday. I, I doubt we go live before Friday. I'll get it out you know, tomorrow. Sit on the high no, I'll get it out like, it's not because Thursday. Of me, I did a video on um, the ship handling and, and what I think is wrong with it and the things. No, so this was before VTOL. Okay. Uh, this was before the VTOL video. This was um, me raising a concern in terms of since, because I started playing in version 3.13, and then uh, not short after that, we had the, the release of 3.14, which did a lot to change the thruster strengths of the ships. Mm -hmm. Some became stronger, some became weaker. And something that stood out to me. If I get a successful run, I will buy some stuff for the, the arrow. Up had become. Because whatever so I buy for the arrow, you know, I should just take the stuff off in of the. Having combat, they wanted to try and keep people the... tighter together. Um, if you have Avenger. stronger vertical thrusters, you don't drift as much when you are. It, it helps avoiding that joust that's always mentioned. Mm -hmm. And I, I raised this, and I, I said. <laughs> This feels weird. It makes sense because it's a really difficult thing to balance. If you under uh, perform yeah, like with the thrusters, me. you get what happens in Elite. You get very drifty ships, very heavy drifty ships. But if you overdo it, then suddenly oh, it, it, it ships feel like a toy. Yeah. And not a week after. I'm not sure how viable doing all the, the stealth is right now because all the things have been balanced out. But I think stealth is still pretty much stealth. And balance things so that they work what more did I drop to? And again, I, you know, I, it, that's not a response to my video. Absolutely not. But it is just really cool to see that when things are. Things like that are subject matter that is living, and that's what people are talking about. It gets addressed eventually, and it gets featured in an ISC. That's just brilliant. Yeah, they people people will say that they don't listen, and sometimes you know they definitely stay quiet on topics. I imagine because it's they just have nothing to say on it. But they're always around, like we were saying earlier. They're on Reddit, they're on Spectrum, they're on Discord, they're listening to what people are talking about. I'm gonna They've kill the chat the for post. now. No doubt about time. that. If they don't talk about something, it's because they've chosen not to talk about it. It's not because they don't know it's a problem. That's, I think that's one of the big things that I need you'll see a lot of suggestions that people make for the game. The one that I'm like, looking at for oh, the uh, you should have this because that makes more sense. The rock mining because I can't see if anybody were to join me and, and yeah, it's nice to see. Yeah, that's the whole purpose of being over to someone especially in ISC. Maybe one day. But so since you've joined, it really sounds like a lot of what has grown your positive opinion here hasn't just been about the game or what the game has brought but the community the studio I itself and just bit. the overall experience yeah i think so it's like star citizen is a heavily in development game right and yeah. things are so unfinished so when i play the things that work and i enjoy them and i have questions or concerns yeah. for what might happen in the future i wish we could lock really it down when i come over to shadow that you can now I don't see the place. What's happening? So yeah, it, it, it's both, isn't it? Like, I, I play Star Citizen not so much for the FPS stuff, for example. I really, for me, it's the flight experience. That's why I'm doing the flight experience video series on, on YouTube now. Yeah. Because I just want to explore everything that different ships have to offer. That, it's like people that play Flight Simulator. I play Space Simulator, which is my Star Citizen. So, and which has freaking interiors and I can walk around and get out and hopefully in the future do all my cargo and loading and loading manually, you know, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And then to have CIG being uh, as open as they are is, is wonderful to rely on it when the game isn't finished yet. So uh, that's, I think it's important if we didn't have what we have, you know, if we didn't have CIG giving us all the information they're giving us, it would be like, you'd have to have a lot of faith, I guess. Oh yeah. I, oof. Yeah, if they weren't as open about this stuff and talking as much, I don't think I'd still be around. I mean, it it's people complain a lot, generally more on the outside of this project than on the inside, complain a lot about how much money has been funded for this project. But I think the only reason everybody is cool with it is because of how upfront they are. I mean, there's there there are things going on, but for the in the grand scheme of things, they are pretty upfront about what's going on what they're working on and stuff like that and I, I think without that it really wouldn't have worked yeah you need to transparency oh yeah i and, may and for the record uh, personally i've already uh, only pledged the 45 dollars so it's a good I bought idea an aurora crap and, i can't rock it. mine um, i have to bring my pembroke suit in our uh, xgr racing community a guy giving gift cards away 
So I ended well, up I'm heading 100 I nice. think it was dollars on my gift card so I was able to upgrade my Aurora to my favorite I'm going to take a chance ship, and night rock Hawk. mine on Ariel so and... fun uh, it's gonna so, get too hot. Yeah, dude, I love the hawk. I just love it for so many reasons. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm sitting on a on an anvil hawk. I completely my, forgot about. And I just I talked about the Pembroke. And here I am. am. That's not how I. Wearing the wrong like, armor. I think my basic pledge is is, is enough investment. And See what I can get done before the yeah. sun comes up. I just you know, it's to totally people, dangerous to rock mine at night. Do yeah. whatever you want with your money. They're the ones building the game. I just put a video out about this just this morning. Go check it out on the main main page, everybody. But it's basically. You don't need to buy a new ship just because it's a new ship. Like Black Maze, like it's just get in for 45 bucks, get what you want in game, let everybody else fund it, and enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's it. So let's talk a little bit here just to close off. Um, I want to touch a little on the racing side of things. Like you said, you started racing in Elite, came over here to Star Citizen. You are now running events. You just had an event yesterday. You have a full group with people joining. CIG devs are interested. It's clearly it's starting to get a little bit bigger. What do you think of the racing scene in Star Citizen? It's really funny. Coming to Star Citizen, I was like, okay, I want to start racing in Star Citizen because the flight model in Star Citizen is lit. It is <laughs> so cool. Like, I just love how the ships handle. They have enough performance, the way the boost works. It, it feels very intuitive. And uh, I obviously having dual stick flight decoupled because you get like the best feeling of what's happening to the ship. And it just... It's an incredibly satisfying feeling. And then I realized beyond uh, the Daymar rally uh, hosted by Atmo Esports, there's not really anything. And I was like, how is this possible? There's definitely communities, you know, friend groups that might hang out together. And that wait till there's acceleration and, and so I was like, a okay, constant way to keep to speed, not just zero and full speed and, and ground vehicles. So we hosted uh, a race and there was interest. And it's going fast. Oh, oh it's insane. man. This, this happened in, 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 Why I give myself more room to get on. Four and eight weeks or so. It's, it's gone so fast. Oh, it is ridiculous. I mean, I'm not all of these people are racing. A lot of people are there because they're a racing fan and they just want to watch the racing. Mm -hmm. We have a tight group of like 20, 25 no! people that are very interested and fast. And that's the cool and thing. It's, we've, we're really? like in this experimentation phase right now where we're uh, trying everything because why we need did to I find do out this? what people like and we need to find out what, people, what works in Star Citizen. For yeah. example, which ships race well together? Not If you take a, an Origin 300 I can't believe I can get myself any room to do that. Origin M50, the M50 this, is as if I don't have enough delays in this game. Faster, oh, that was not what I wanted to do either. But that doesn't mean that the Origin 300i isn't a really fun ship to race. So how do you balance these things? And we actually used Legacy Fleet's data to come up with this performance index, like they do in games like Forza, where you have ships that are rated A or S. And so we're highly experimenting with balancing which ships race against which ships, and we don't have all the answers yet. So we've just been doing lots of experimentation. Oh, why did I do this? We've, we've even done Dragonfly. It would have been MG, faster to awesome. move the ship by we've done, uh, Canyon racing on uh, one of the moons. God, I, I don't remember the name now. Um, was it Ariel? Maybe. Really? Oh, no, you was, bastard. Uh, Clio. We did uh, Cleo racing. We've saw it on Canyon racing. We've even taken ships on Orison. No! Why did it jump? Racing them around in Orison is so much fun. Because Why do you have to go full speed? Stadium, Barely uh, touch this jump that full you can speed. race through. And there's there's so many nooks and crannies that you wouldn't think a ship fits through. I should have moved the so ship. Much fun. Just, Organizing that first of all, and then one of my passions is to put it up as like a like a TV broadcast, and you know have uh, people commentating myself, and often Osashis joins me, and we we commentate on the action, and people are really down to do it. We've got this really I didn't cool think I would get stuck there, qualifying though. system where there's like four qualifying heats, and the four okay, people that win the it. heat will go into the pro race, and they will do that should uh, be good enough. you know the winner takes all, and we're planning to do championships in the future and people are so excited that they've now started to offer us prizes so we've got somebody interested in sponsoring hopefully the cool sun is not coming up print your own picture he gave me one actually I, I had a picture up on stream yesterday and i took one of the star citizen pictures and put it on the mouse pad and it looks it's one of those wide ones it takes your keyboards as well and everything 
And he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll sponsor prizes if you do a championship. I've got Thrustmaster interested in, in uh, partnering up and, and doing cool stuff in the future. Like, the, we've got CIG, obviously, uh, watching along and reading along. So, oh, it's yeah, so, so, so excited for the future. Yeah. It's so cool. It's, it is so cool. This is like a... Some people say this is a negative, that there are things like this going on in a game that's still in alpha. I think it is so freaking cool that there's Run enough passion in the community to look past the problems ah! and put these things together to the point that actual companies are coming out and saying, you know what, there's enough going on here that we want to sponsor it. Like, you, this is happening because you were passionate enough to start it. And Star Citizen draws in people that want these kinds of things so badly that they're all going to join you. You got 400 people into this league in like months. Yep. That it's yeah. it's so cool. That's awesome. It's very exciting. Yeah, Come on, I, I, I say this all the time, but I think the the Star Citizen player community is a different breed. Honestly, we, like things change. We we had the big question. Okay, what if we start a championship now and mid championship there's a patch and everything changes for the ships or yeah. whatever. You know, things aren't balanced anymore. But what then? We roll with the punches because that's what the Star Citizen players do. That's what they've been doing the second they were able to get in game and play. Things change, we adapt, we overcome, and we, we roll with the punches. So, yeah, dude, that's 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 what my experience is anyway. Everybody seems seems down with yeah. whatever happens, and um, it's an unfinished sandbox, and uh, I love playing in it. To finish us off, I would like to ask sort of a two-part question here. First, I want to know if you know what's gone on with racing in the game in the past and how CIG has approached it. And then, and this is a big one, so we can I can say it again for you. I want to know what you have, in, like, what your boo. vision is for racing in the future. Do you see long distance uh, extra planetary races? Do you see slingshot races, if that's possible? Are you thinking more of these ground-based kinds of things? So we'll start first with the uh, CIG's existing work in racing. So I, I know that they used to have missions in game, and you Man, could queue uh, up for them. Yeah. <laughs> and people would oh join. Oh my God! That was what the hell popular, is that right? doing? Yeah. And if you didn't, if people didn't join with you, then the event never started. So there was no point yeah. in going out to that. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm think, what I'm hoping, my my dream for this is that what we're doing with XGR helps again to shape oh, the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. really love the idea of CIG looking at what the community does with their game and them adapting to that and, and providing the platform. So I don't think that what they've been doing is the right thing, but the fact that we have racing ships in game tells me that that is what they're interested in. I understand that there is one guy on the vehicle experience team that used to be heavily into sim racing. So I rely on the fact that he knows what's up. He knows what we like. And then to have XGR, for example, and Atmo Esport with the Daymar Rally and that sort of stuff, doing this, I hope, drives and shapes the game. My wish for it, on, 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 on CIG's side, I find it a really difficult one to answer. But that's because I'm very player community event driven. So it's like from that point of view, what I want, I'll just tell you what I want. Okay. I want more tools. I want more tools that would help me make it easier to race. So what I, for example, see in the persistent universe is this tool that is, for example, in your Moby glass that allows you to create races, the races, the way that I make them in Forza Horizon 5. You have a starting gate, you have a checkpoint here, a checkpoint there, a checkpoint there. Uh, I can set the number of laps, I can start, click on start, I can click on stop, I can see with a UI element who is in first place and how many fields someone has and all that relevant data that you might want for a race. And above all, to make this non-intrusive for people that aren't interested in this race because obviously this would happen in the, in the open world two percent ain't worth it these things could become like holograms people say like you should be able to deploy gates but gates can be collided with and what happens if somebody who's not racing 
visits that area and suddenly there's a gate spawning in his way. That might be too intrusive. So for example, I would suggest have this Moby Glass tool that is for creating tracks and make them holograms. Can't so go too long. I don't want my other account to go AFK. To the race or to get or logged off for race. being we'll AFK. See the holograms, can fly through the holograms, can trigger the holograms without any colliders being in the way to cause problems for anybody else. And I mean, if we go to Grim Hex, they've got these monitors already hanging up yeah, with, yeah. you know, these broadcasting screens. If we could broadcast like these races and have people watching in game, oh my God, that it, would be the best yeah. stuff ever. That is, so, that is the dream. I don't know if this kind of answered your question, uh, but that's why my dead vision rock. for it. And again, just the fact that we're so no luck so far. Watching, make, gets me very hopeful that they are listening i love it man cig definitely if, hit this guy up <laughs> if you want to talk about racing i love that kind of spirit the idea of uh you know we don't know if they'll do it but having some faith that i feel like when i go straight up and down players, one and shouldn't take move that into account when they're building their stuff being yes, a person yes. who could set up a community to try and help guide the direction of racing in the game is really cool dude that's awesome Hell i yeah. can't wait to see where that goes for you thank you yeah of course well black maze we came up we're about we're about an hour uh, a little bit over at this point i don't want to keep you too long i think we had a really good talk good check oh uh, yeah on, yeah i was going know, the wrong way the status of uh <laughs> as some people like to call themselves an elite dangerous refugee but really just coming <laughs> into the game for the first time this year and, and discovering a new space game i really wanted Close to pick your brain about what you were thinking of it and i'm glad we got to talk a little bit about that because that stuff is very cool and we'll, I'll have to follow up with you on that in the future. For everybody who's watching or listening, I had to have though, gone to that one, right? You want to go ahead and let them know how they can sign up for this racing league or how they can find you in the content you make? Yes, absolutely. First of all, thank you, Space, for or Tomato, for having me anyway. I think it's really awesome that you, you invited me on, and I'm always happy to come and chat. Um, to find me, well, just go to YouTube and type in Black Maze. You'll find all my videos. And uh, you could also type in Google XGR Discord if you are Thanks, interested in racing. Spontaneous more than welcome to come and join us. Or uh, it's a freaking dead link. rock. Probably the first result, I think. And um, yeah, so that's XGR Discord. XGR stands for Extreme G Racing, by the way. Cool. And we, I will have those links down below for anything that you want to uh, get into contact with Black Maze for. Everything will be in the in the video notes or in the video description on YouTube. But I'd like to thank everybody for coming and watching. Thank you again for coming to episode 29 of the Launch Sequence podcast. And if you would like to get involved in this podcast or even watch it uh, live here, you can join on Patreon and become a supporter. It helps a ton. It supports my family. It also helps me keep this podcast ad free. And if you would like to get involved in any of the other things that have to do with Space Tomato, ah, SpaceTomatoGaming.com okay. is the place to go yeah, where you can go find to the me other on account. YouTube. But uh, I think I gotta find something else to that, guys, to. I'd like to thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Black Mace, thank you again for being a guest on this show. And I wish you the best, friend. Thank you. I don't want to go to someone's live show, even though that would be fun. How about some answer the call with tomato and salty Mike? That sounds like a good one. Yeah, like um Let's start that from the beginning. This one aired on December fifth. Game. Got seventy one hundred views. This is salty Mike and he is interviewing Space Tomato. Ooh. More than anything. You know what's Oh, let me go all the way back. Alright. I can definitely do some mining with Salty Mike. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Answer the Call. Uh, as we do towards the end of a patch cycle, I love to have uh, but, 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 uh, now guests I'm on brain from the Star community to talk about the game or whatever. I wasn't so, sure. Well, I think I was about to get a node. Two nodes. Too, too specific that me and our guest, oh. Space Tomato, will be talking about. So I just said state of the game with Space Tomato. So I think it's like general enough that we can talk about whatever. So uh, without further ado, uh, we'll jump right into it with... Mr. Space Tomato. So, hello, welcome to the podcast. First time on, uh, and it should have been earlier, probably. I wish I. Oh, I, crap, uh, look at that. Started interacting with you more probably years no, ago. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Usually, when like, there's three, it's quant. It's hard, Usually. Everybody's got different schedules, everyone's yes. in different places. Like, we, we both 
we were on uh, was it we were on Dick Bet's show. Dig's that. No, we were on, we were on the, yeah, the show with Dick Bet earlier this year, and like yeah. we had great talks, and we both hit it off, and we were like, yeah, we want to meet up and talk, but like, yeah. there's just so much going on that it's I hard. I want to come on your podcast, 2. too, but I don't five. know. Like, one of them's going to be big. I just know it. Yeah. No, Usually when one small, there's two small and one big one, or two big ones. Now, before we start anything. There's the big one. Now, will this one be big? What was the mass on that? Did you know mass was that that's important. Uh, this is probably going to be the rock I get. Ooh. More than any. Oh, you know, let me scan that. it again. That's weird. Do I don't really like tomatoes that much either. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> so, okay, where does the name come from then? Um, do, uh, you know what? The, yeah, it's this a funny is the big question one. because people keep asking me that, and it's yeah. like, I. It, it, good I enough. Forty-eight hundred. Good enough. Word tomato in it. I don't know why okay, let that. me go that move the other account thing. real quick, and then I just went I'll leave it there, there and then I will because I concentrate like on like space this one. tomatoes are universal. Like nobody's not gonna know yeah. what I am. I'm 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 a fruit in space, you know. So <laughs> I just kind of stuck with it. It worked. I mean, it it rolls off the tongue. It works. I mean, I can't judge anyone's names because uh, I've had previous <laughs> names that were absolutely horrendous. So. There's, there's Park. no, no judge. I don't know who, what you're talking about, but yeah. So <laughs> I've, I've had some horrible names, so I'm definitely not uh, judging there. Okay. Um, I guess that will roll right into. So I got surge. Star Citizen. When did you back? The Why last two. So I need to hit back? A2 for surge after I get started mining. Um, all two. To be quite honest, I don't remember how I found Star Citizen. It was. Oh man, it jumped up there fast. Um, yeah, Are you ready with the optimum? Time, optimum? I, I was playing probably like. Sheesh, what was I playing That blinking is starting to suck a little bit. Um, I was playing back through multiple times and just. I was not into. I was into space games, but I had never been into space games. If you get what I mean? Like, I was a console player. I, I, I was. Full on obsessed with Halo. That blinking uh, really Halo. sucks. I was looking for. I may not have to use an optimal. Gray, like all these space oh, I don't take a chance. I, get, I had never gotten to do before because I was stuck on consoles. Um, I almost didn't use an optimal. PC gaming until I found Star Citizen. So all this time I was looking for something that would be good that would scratch that itch, and eventually I started to look towards PC gaming None because there. I was in college. I had to build a good PC for like my studies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And so, I guess I just stumbled across Star Citizen somehow, and like, nope. I saw ship commercials, and the ship the commercials. A, I was like, hey, that so looks like many it goes pretty people. fast. There's 13, so that might be the biggest one. What was the mass? 788, 13. The, week, the, the uh, tractor beam on that ship for, no, 325A. No, that's the 315. But yeah, I'm thinking, uh, the, 34 and 9, that that's lineup. definitely the big mama. Yeah, it's just that. Oh, there's whole four model. rocks. So, like, two rocks I, have quant. I, never, I think I just had somebody on my podcast, and they were Three like, rocks yeah, have quant. Yeah. It's just that model of ship, and the commercial they did for it was just. I remember this one distinct scene of the ship flying like. Yeah, this over might take clouds, more than 15 like minutes. Kind of yellow, overcast looking. Yep. 30, scene, so, like, there's two so at 700 at 30 some. That one's 30. I think it's the ship that closely Eight. resembles at 728 mass this one's a jet plane 34 at and a nine height at line time. i think it's the thing that so these are we to what we let's have get these two life. first that's why a lot of people are were drawn to that in particular yeah yeah all they needed was like the the fold downstairs kind of yeah. thing that like pops out the so, blinking yeah, that's, the that's glitching screen is starting like to really get to me weird chats right now oh yeah i mean and then they did that with the 100 which is like it's, right. i was using that it's all bad day it was, it's very cool i love that ship i yeah. love that ship um so yeah it was kind of i never was i wasn't the wing commander group i yeah. didn't play freelancer i still haven't gotten to go back and